hunter prey slash predator ability where he can like pounce on you without looking. Um, probably one of his passives will be that he can't Welcome be seen back. on the minimap. But I guess we'll find out. First today, joining us again for the first time on the den is Alex and Kiara. How are you both doing today? Fantastic. Really excited. Yes. <laughs> uh, so before we jump into the uh, artistic direction behind the Ocelot, uh, why don't you both tell us a little bit about what it is that you do here? Yes, so I'm Alex. I'm the production manager on the character team, which is the ridiculously talented team that makes all of the new heroes, uh, armor sets, and hero skins. I also coordinate with our team in Chengdu that makes all of the weapons, all of the outfits, ornaments, mood effects, and armor variations. Hi, and I'm Kiara. I do texture art. I also coordinate a little bit with uh, Chengdu for validation and uh, other fun stuff. So all the all the materials. Yes. A lot about rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Especially this season. Awesome. So uh, why don't why don't we just uh, jump right in to uh, the kind of the, the high level stuff? Yes. Uh, so for the Ocelotl, we really tried to make a respectful adaptation into our game. Uh, like Raphael was mentioning, uh, we had a lot of collaboration with historians trying to, to work that in a little bit. Uh, so for our first set, we really went for the Jaguar Warrior, that classic look. Yeah. Yeah, well, Not and had to go the full screen, model, actually. Uh, is what the Jaguar Warrior class would have been called in the model. And uh, so we've got some gorgeous uh, concept art. Yeah, that's better. I don't know why I wasn't doing that before. Traditionally start with like a, the 2D. Yes. And then, kind of work and then build that up to a Yeah, exactly. We're getting there. So We're getting there with this uh, streaming we business. Have these lovely references from our historians. How do we go and adapt that? How do we translate that into 3D? So we'll take a lot of these images and put them together into the concept. And then we have this meeting. Where They've got the shield in there. They've got the shield in the concept art. So maybe it will be a feat. Oh, actually, he's got it on his back, hasn't he? So maybe he can use a shield. Work on it. Maybe he'll have three weapons. That would be a first, actually. Ooh, that would be interesting. Three weapons would be a different thing entirely. How does it fit around? How does it buckle up? Where's the buckle? Oh, yeah. Maybe he could have either, like, shield and spear, shield and uh, club, or spear and, cl spear and club. Maybe he can, like, alternate between the three. And so... Um, that would be cool. Uh, I, I skip over yeah, because look, he's got a shield on his back there. <laughs> okay, so I think in addition to this, like we can see. <laughs> Could that, they uh, do that? Ocelot Could has, that happen? Like, a lot of uh, there's a lot of different textures going on here, a lot of different materials, and um, Kiara, I think you have uh, a lot to do with that. Right? Oh, sorry, yes. guys. Yes, I really do. But <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're going to talk. Could just be part of his armor. armor. Who knows? But I'm I'm hopeful. Oh, yes, a lot of characters yes, have had yes. other weapons and stuff included yeah. in their armor yeah, sets, exactly. so, so uh, might so be going down um, the, Jaguars, uh, the wrong route there, but vehicle. could be different. Uh, and could be cool. And so in this snack. one, yes, we're gonna have a snack set. Nice. Yeah, other characters like Shaman have got shields uh, on their back. And uh, just so an idea, just because on that, that we had, artist uh, impression that so they had there, they had the shield like separate. So it's kind of like there was emphasis on that. And we have some beads that were made from nuts. And uh, I don't know, just putting yeah, that out there. So, what the set has there is that uh, the animal sort of helmet, and then at his waist, he'll have an obsidian knife and his death whistle. Death whistle, we're coming right here. It is yeah. ridiculously loud. It is. I wish I could blow it on the show, but all of you yeah. guys would go deaf <laughs> like at home. Yeah. Um, and I so uh, I think we've got the Jaguar set. We mentioned Snick. There's yes. the, there's also some ceremonial. We also have a set two. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And in the set two, uh, this one is Ooh. based on war. This could be the higher so rep level stuff. Uh, so this one oh, can't wait to start repping them up uh, and getting that awesome fashion going. Demon, uh, demon and death. I don't know what the quickest mode to rep up is actually these days. I've been doing a lot of elimination recently. I don't know whether that's actually the best mode. I feel like Breach or Dominion is, but I don't know. Oh, there we go. Oh, his, cl his club there, his, uh, that's fully metallic, that, and his uh, spear. I keep calling it a club. I think it's called like a Macwa Wiggle or something. It's not 
<laughs> so key technically a sword. Uh, so yeah, as usual, I uh, get these oh, no. yeah, things uh, um, mixed the up sometimes. This time, the big challenge was uh, is that all the materials used for Osorado is raw materials compared to the Conquistador, which really had uh, transformed materials like metal, you know, the... the yeah, I'm not uh, seeing the, the shield on minerals found were hammered into the... the uh, ornate armor but in on that on these uh showcases here so maybe it's just the two weapons which is fine but it would be cool in future if they had like a put it around your belt uh, a choice of three day. weapons um you can see <laughs> could that be an idea girls are really raw they're from nature they're just um purely also respected like that man it's gonna have an all parry you mean like a an all guard uh, yeah, so um we did a lot of work it's not impossible with him having two weapons, I feel like he's going to be more of a offensive character. Really though. Fun thing to work with. He might have. Um, he could always have a deflect or a crushing counter. In it too. Like, it's not just a or a superior block, if that's There's something else in the blues, as well that people are thinking of. The woods, they're more of a reddish tint. Ooh, the skull, skull mask. That's good. Over there in South America is wood is Ooh, that's that's the best looking one I think. That's potentially my pick. I'd say. And the feathers, which we really. I'm really, excited about oh. this. <laughs> oh, that's another variation of the skull mask. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, they're from South America, right? So, all the birds are crazy. Good for the the dark outfit theme. Patterns, and we really wanted to keep that, but give the players the opportunity to actually put variety and use your color scheme and your team color to modify the feathers. Me I can adjust with my color palette. Oh yeah. Absolutely, yes. and there is variety in the feathers. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Especially variety in feathers. That's what I said in my vid yesterday. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm happy. We can change the color of the, the feathers. Shift a little bit when you put them in the light, and it's, it's there. We go. It got me really excited. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't wait to see priorities some time in the customization menu. Yeah, that's probably where like. 60%. Yeah, I'll probably have a crushing counter, I think. <laughs> if we're being honest. That club yeah, looks absolutely. like a weapon that you can like attack when Most someone else is attacking and still come out on top. Yeah, the low rep uh, armor, I think, is they've they've improved low rep armor drastically over the last few heroes. And I feel like they've done that because people who are new to the game pick up these characters and then they'll start playing them and obviously they'll be low rep yeah, and they'll be thinking oh i don't want to have to rep up rages to look cool uh so they just thought yeah just give them awesome the, armor to begin with i feel like that's what they've the thought about would go on the and, and put oh, it so you see like the finger tracks yeah the finger stuff. tracks yeah. We, we thought of everything here <laughs> nice so, nice yeah. so a little thicker a little more goopy Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> oh, the gold and blue is always uh, a nice and, color combo. Um, it's not just the uh, armors for uh, the new hero. We've also got uh, we've got a new set for Shinobi coming out as well. So we've got Shinobi. That is that is that is one of my one of my mains. We're going to show you the new set for Shinobi here in just a sec. Uh, I need to actually get a new armor set for Shinobi because uh, it's been a while since I've updated my fashion. Textures, so. And it shows. Yeah. It shows. Um, there's, uh, there's uh, one of the weapon sets got a lot of orange in it. I oh. think that's going to be the one I'll grind for. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mentioned uh, the new Shinobi set. So let's take a look at set five. Uh, so. Uh, Ooh, Shinobi. Hello. Uh, with with this new mask. Eagle so, Shinobi. Uh, is is uh, that an as eagle? Announced uh, previously in the year. Uh, the eagle new Shinobi. Shinobi coming out. So for everyone's favorite ninja. Uh, yeah. And some it's sort of other bird as well. Um, is that it's like a uh, what do they call the uh, little turtle guys in the water? The kappas. Kappa. Yeah, it's got kind of some kappa vibe to it there. Raven. Uh, and that's not Raven. All. We've got pigeon. Could be a pigeon for the Viking, the Wulin, and the Outlanders. Uh, so as we announced earlier this year, we've got uh, new armor variations coming every season for different factions. So you can see them at the bottom here. So in October, we've got knights and samurai coming, and then we've got nice. another, uh, Viking, Wulin, and Outlander coming in February. So Yes, uh, these were all worked on by the Chengdu team. So shout out to uh, Chengdu. Thanks for all your hard work. 
Yeah, um, they do such a great job, and uh, I know they work uh, they work with us very closely so that uh, we can get it just right. So they're really great. Yes, and so thank you so much for joining me on the den. For hope you guys enjoyed your first time. Yes. <laughs> can't, can't wait to have you guys back. And uh, yeah, uh, you guys at home, stick around because uh, we're going to be talking gameplay. So for those of you who are like, show me the gameplay. Here we go. Time is coming. So uh, <laughs> gameplay, that's what we're here for. Thank you. The main, the main uh, got, point of this got, uh, whole yeah, time, ar- wait, thing. We've got an armor variation video. That's right. And then uh, we'll be back, back, back with the gameplay. Raiders looking mean. Oh, Berserkers looks good. Kind of a dark outfit there. Highlander looking like he's just been to the barbers. Shaman has sorted out her hair again. Lack of hair, I should say. Valkyrie's gone mad with the horns. kind of gone with the dark aesthetic for these armor sets. So these armor sets I don't think are related to the Aztec season, hence why they're not like blue and green colors. I think this is kind of like a yearly thing. That's nice as well. That's just decent. Looking, looking good with all that bling around his chest there. More chainmail for Athira. Yeah, Athira and Magi and Pirate, they need more armor sets, obviously, because they, they were added later, so they have less. I think Shinobi's helmet is going to look... So that helmet there, I think that might look better paired with some of the other sets that he has. The helmet's good. I mean, the, the armor's good as well, like for the arms and the chest. But obviously the helmet there is the is the focus. And I think someone said, like, helmets with hoods look really good in this game. 